up for Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. This weekend is Mother's Day. First of all, happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Uh, just like me, I'm a mom. I wanted to give you my uh, five favorite, let's go with five, favorite moms in, in sci-fi, fantasy, comic books, all that stuff. So here's my top five favorite moms, okay? Uh, Molly Weasley, come on, who doesn't love a Weasley? Okay, she is amazing. She is badass. She will defend her kids until the cows come home. I absolutely adore her. If you don't know who she is, first of all, Harry Potter at Home was announced this, this week, and you can watch uh, Daniel Radcliffe read the first chapter of Harry Potter, and it's amazing, and I cried, and I loved every second of it. If you haven't seen my reaction to the announcement, you can watch it here. I cried. I couldn't. Listen. I love me some Harry Potter. And I also love me some Ron Weasley, which means I love Molly. That's his mom. Um, so she's one of my favorites. Also, I'm going to go with, and this might surprise you. So from Star Wars, I had a really tough, really tough decision. I was going back and forth between two. I was going back and forth between Leia, of course, uh, and Padma. And I went with, I went with Padma because... Of Clone Wars. I'm really, really enjoying her in the Clone Wars series right now. I think she's amazing. I kind of love how she's like, yeah, I'm going to do my own thing, whatever. I'm married to Anakin, but whatnot. And plus, who doesn't love that scene where she's like, you're breaking my heart. You're going down a path. I can't follow. Come on, I love that part. I mean, I think she probably did it a little better than I did, but whatever. I love that part. Um, so I love me some Padma. I mean, she literally died of a broken heart. Okay. I'm an emotional, emotional person. I'm an emotional mom. And uh, she literally died of a broken heart. Anakin. That's for you, Anakin. Uh, next up is Jessica Jones. Okay, in the comics. I'm not too sure. I haven't watched the last season, but I'm pretty sure there's no baby of Jessica Jones. Uh, Jessica Jones and Luke Cage have a baby in the comic books. And she is amazing. I love Jessica Jones. She's badass. She's just, I mean, she's amazing. If you know anything about Jessica Jones, you know she's amazing. And the best part is, do you know who she hired for her nanny? Squirrel Girl. I mean, come on. Squirrel Girl is awesome. Okay. Squirrel Girl is amazing. If there was a real Squirrel Girl, I would totally hire her to be my nanny. I'm just saying. So I also have Daenerys Targaryen. Khaleesi herself, of course, she's one of my favorites. She's absolutely one of my favorites. How could she not be one of my favorites? Listen, my dog's name is Khaleesi. I think she's awesome. The mother of dragons. I mean, that's why you count her. She's she's so incredible. And uh, even though she went a little bit crazy at the end there and died by the hand of like the guy that she loved that was also like related to her or whatever, she was awesome. And I loved her through so many seasons of Game of Thrones. I had to count her. How could I not count Daenerys, Khaleesi, whatever you would like to call her? And finally, I am going to go with, and this has to do with something I talked about earlier, I'm going to go with Beth from Rick and Morty. I kind of love her. She's kind of crazy. She's kind of fun. She lets her kids do whatever, but then she also joins in the fun. She helps her dad out whenever he gets into a pickle. <laughs> Get it? Pickle? Pickle Rick? If you haven't watched Rick and Morty, you're missing out. Anyways, those are my five favorite mothers. What are your five favorite mothers? Tell me down below. And thanks so much.